Hello, what's that means, and welcome back to Hyperspeed, the show where I try to speed my rage games while drinking energy drinks. Today, um, we're going to be taking on, well, I don't know if it'll happen in this episode, but it'll be today for me, maybe not for you. Today, we're going to be taking on one of my favorite bosses of all time. Um, but first, I think we still have to kill that stupid fucking bird. I might be wrong about that, but I, I'm fairly certain we still have to kill that stupid fucking bird. Alright, so, let's pick up where we left off. Yep, bird's still up. Okay, we gotta get rid of this bird. Okay, aviary action. Let's get right to it! Oh, I got. I forgot to take a drink. I gotta do this quick before the fight starts. Okay, we're good. Howdy! Alright. So, how was your day? <laughs> I gotta be honest, I, I just got up and drank a little, uh, ate a little bit of breakfast and got straight to this. I am an idiot. Um, so I don't have a whole lot to talk about today. Um, it's like two days later, all I did was go to class for an entire day. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty, uh, well right now I'm feeling pretty shitty because I keep fucking missing. I keep getting hit by this shit. God damn it. But, um, yeah. Actually, there was- I do have a pretty interesting story to tell. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get across the entire story, um, while playing this. But, uh, we had a pretty awesome session of, uh, Pathfinder yesterday. Actually, um, yeah, it's fine. I, I was doing bad anyway. We're off to a slow start. It's okay. Last time we were off to a great start. Oh, I didn't set the timer. Give me a second. So like I was saying, um, yesterday we had a pretty awesome session of Pathfinder where we had literally the stars aligned to make a particular uh, set of circumstances happen. There was such a low chance that it would happen, and yet they, the roles were perfect. They had to be perfect, and they were. So it was pretty incredible. Go check that out. Uh, it's probably like seven years old by the point this re video gets released. <laughs> <laughs> but it's episode 19.5 of uh, Dungeons and Douchebags. So go check that out. I, I, it was a really good episode, and the ending is fantastic. Alright, back to the game. Here we go. Timer's on, and we're getting going. Let's hit this shit. Yeet! I really don't like this bird. This bird is an asshole. I could honestly do with that. Um, luckily, uh, I know how to beat him. Unluckily, that doesn't actually mean I can beat him. <laughs> I'm just gonna play it safe during this phase, I think. And stick to dodging. I didn't do that last time because I was trying to see if I could get some hits in. Um, I'm actually gonna go for the alt here because I wanna speed this up. I don't like this phase. I have a tendency to get hit during it, so I will try and speed the phase up. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it seems like this boss, the strategy is definitely to stay far away from him. You know? Stay as far as possible. Um, get that distance between you and him. I'm doing well so far. I really shouldn't have said that, because now I'm sure I'm gonna fuck up. <laughs> You know what I mean? <coughs> okay, he's going low and they're coming in, so I'm gonna go over the top. Alright. He's going low. Oh, sure. That was a close one. I almost had to deal with the spiny things. I didn't want to deal with. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Alright, cool. We're good, we're good. That was a risk. It was a calculated risk. I took it. Alright. I think if I, I have to lean into those, because if I let them come to me, then I run the risk of them, uh, the timing being off, um, overall, so yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to tell the whole story of that D&D &D session, um, unless I 
totally run out of things to talk about on here. I'm not going to tell the story of that D&D session because um, I, it's, it's telling that story, an actually complex uh, narrative of D&D while playing this game would be extremely annoying, really hard, and I don't think I'd be able to do both. And quite frankly, at the moment, this is more important. Alright, he's down. We're in the last phase of three health again. I just have to not choke. I'm gonna make this bird choke on my fucking plane body. I think if I stay back here as long as he stays up there, it'd be good. I say as he immediately comes forward. <laughs> Damn it! One health. I did it! Hey! What was that? Two tries? Three? Three maybe? I don't know. I don't know why I took a sip. I'm supposed to take a sip when I lose. But hey, I'm just excited, alright? Just, just, let me be happy, Mom. Alright. That was awesome. We made it through. Um, now it's time for my favorite boss in the entire game. A little friendly fellow. Uh, who I can't get to through this path. <laughs> Trying to build up the suspense and... I realize I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Fucking dumbass me. <coughs> Excuse me. A little boss we like to call... Match 6, the dragon. In Fiery Frolic. I'm super hyped for this one. I've been hyped to play this boss the entire time. I was a little upset I didn't get to it last time. That's why I wanted to continue playing. Um, and last night when I was, it was like midnight and I was going to bed after a session of D&D, I was just hyped to play this again. Um, oh god, finally we cannot be, the, we cannot be a plane. <laughs> finally the game can be fun again. This one, I just really love this boss because it has really good music. I think it's the appropriate challenge level for me, personally. Um, it has a really cool and consistent aesthetic. Um, the background is really fucking cool, how it does that spinning thing. I actually watched a video that where the creators were talking about how they, how they achieved that effect, and how they made a 3D model, and then videoed it, or photographed it from like, a hundred different angles to get that 3D spinning tower in the back. And I just think that's really cool. The amount of love and effort put into this game is quite incredible. As you can see, I've played this boss a few times. I'm actually rather familiar with him. Um, in my experience, the only hard part is the last part. The rest is like, I might fuck up here and there and get like one hit. But uh, for the most part, the only one that's going to be an actual threat to me will be the, the uh, last section of this. And I found out the reason why um, I'm having so much trouble with it. Um, because I watched a video last night where a guy beat every boss in Cuphead without getting hit. Um, I, I don't think that's really cheating, but, you know. Um, I, I, did, I did watch some things to see uh, how he did it. It was, it was mostly just out of curiosity and love for the boss design and wanting to see more of it, rather than actually being me trying to strategize. But uh, I did do a little bit of studying, per se. Um, and what I discovered is that in this last phase, the one that always gets me, the problem was um, that he used a different type of shot than I use. Um, he didn't use the tracer shots. Um, the tracer shots apparently are actually really bad for this section, which is exactly why I'm using them. That's not true at all. I'm using them because I'm an idiot. Look how close I got there. Goddamn. I would be disappointed if I got through this fight that easy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the tracer shots are bad for that section because they track to the, um, fireballs that he shoots, and when that happens, they, those fireballs explode, making them kind of an unpredictable factor in the fight, um, because they can just go all four directions at any point, making them really hard to dodge. Um, I think I'm gonna have to use the smoke bomb a lot through that section if I'm gonna beat that part. Um, but yeah. Uh, he, I think, used the one that you, you lob, uh, a shot at the enemy, which I actually didn't know was one of the options, because I 
pretty much when I discovered the tracer shots and the shotgun, I was like, yeah, I'm good. I got everything I need. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm, I'm not doing this boss with the, uh, with the advantage. I'm kind of intentionally handicapping myself here. Um, intentionally handicapping myself because I'm not interested in uh, playing more running gun levels. <laughs> um, I love this game, but the running gun levels kind of suck, in my opinion. Um, the game was clearly designed to be a boss rush, and in that part it excels, but in anything else it's just not. You know, it's like, I don't know, what's a, what's a good example? It's like when Kingdom Hearts tries to be Star Fox. That's a good example. Um, you know, Kingdom Hearts is decent for what it is. And when it tries to be something else, in those sections, it's clear this was not the intended gameplay. It's clear this is not the part of the game that was thought up first. This is the part that was added on later, you know? It might hit me. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Shit, shit, shit! Ah! That fucking pissed me off, man. Okay, we're gonna... God damn it. We're gonna lose is what we're gonna do. Also, another problem is that the tracer shots don't deal a lot of damage. I like them because I can dodge while shooting them. They don't do a lot of damage, and they track to the fireballs that explode when you shoot them. So, overall, they're probably not the right choice. I'm gonna try and use the, um, the shotgun, uh, actually, um, on the last phase. And if that doesn't work, actually, I think next time maybe I'll unequip the tracer shot. No, sorry, not the tracer shot. I'll unequip the shotgun and do the, uh, single shot. That way I can have more control over what I do. Um... And I don't have to buy anything extra because I'll just have that. Because the, probably the reason I have so much trouble with this boss is because my loadout is, like, specifically not designed for this boss, you know? Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna restart, to be honest. <laughs> this is a, this is one of the hardest bosses. If I take damage in the first phase, it's just not, you know, it's not gonna happen. I wanted to try and not not do that, you know, not manually restart. To try and actually like play the game legit, um, and only only restart when I actually die. But uh, this particular fight can be a bit more of a nuisance, especially if you're um, not prepared at the end. The end part is the part that's going to be a real challenge. So. Overall, I think it'd probably be better, time-wise, you know, just to keep the epi these episodes not at a ridiculous length. Time-wise, I think it would just be best to just not... <laughs> oh, crap, the game lagged for a second there. Well, we didn't drop any frames, so we're still good. I had to check that. <clears throat> Luckily, he went in the second phase when I had to stop and look at the screen. <laughs> because he probably would have hit me if he, had, if, I, if he hadn't. Sorry, I'm just really focused. This is this is one of my favorite bosses because it's one of the hardest ones uh, for me personally, and uh, it's very staying at the top here is very methodical. And if you stay calm and pay attention, then uh, you do much better. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. All right. So what did I say I was going to do? I was going to switch to the shotgun. Okay. Okay. The problem with the shotgun is I have to get close. And I don't want to be near him when he shoots those orbs. All right. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna we're gonna try another strat here. We're gonna do something that I I wouldn't normally do, but um, it looks like I might have to, so I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, and we're going to switch out the shotgun with the pea shooter because the shotgun is useless for this particular combat. Um, I mean, it's not useless, it's really good at speeding up the first phase, but the first phase is easy enough that I, I don't think I need it. I think I can just stick with the, um, with the tracer shots. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna try a different loadout for once. I think this is probably gonna be the only fight we do with this loadout, because, um, most of the other fights I don't have too much trouble with normally. Um... 
And honestly, this fight I wasn't planning on switching out, but it just seems like it's probably the smart idea. So, you know. His tail's coming in. Um, I, I love the randomly generated panels, side-scrolling, uh, boss fight that this one is. Um, but I do have to say that, um, sometimes the panels fuck you when there's not one low or there's not one high. Shit. I'm just gonna submit to my doom. Honestly. That was just a dumb mistake on my part. Okay. Here we go. This is the reason why speeding up the front first phase would be nice. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I should use the tracer shots for the first phase anyway. Because, um... The... I could still hit him from range pretty much... Pretty consistently. Um, so... Maybe I should just stick with the regular shots because they just do more damage. Um, the only problem is that if I turn around like that, I have to actually pay attention to where I am. <laughs> Alright, cool. Second phase, I definitely have to use the tracer shots. Because it's incredibly hard to hit him down there with anything while doing this. Um... <laughs> That's why the guy was using the shots that lob, because they, they fall down, you know? Um, but yeah, I can't go down there to hit him easily. Um, oh, that was a close one. My, my, my jumps are just timed oddly right now, and I'm not, I'm not able to stay in rhythm. Alright, cool. Um, Alright, now it's time to stop shooting, which I don't usually do, just so that I can um, only shoot when I know the orb won't be near me. See if that works. I'm gonna go for the ult, because I might as well. I have it. Shit, that was very close to being very bad. This is probably the best strategy. I don't usually like to stop shooting when I play this game. I like to shoot pretty consistently. But, uh, those fireballs, man. Those are, like, the worst. Ah! Of course he went for the high one. Alright, well, luckily that was conveniently timed where uh, now we get to stop the episode. So hopefully I'll beat him next time. Thanks for watching and stay interesting.